Hey, this is Kevin F59, and welcome back. Um, today we're going to start up all working on a nuclear reactor and stuff, and we're also going to show off one of the things that I haven't shown yet because I'm winding down, and so I figured I'd show it. First, this is how you make a reactor chamber, and this is how you make a nuclear reactor. We're going to use that. We're going to use this to make some thorium. If we put monosolite in a grinder with some, you can get thorium dust, which we need some of. This is how you make a heat vent. We're going to use those for cooling. Um, our setup today, by the way, is not going to be particularly good. Here's how to make a heat exchanger. Um, and just, and then this is how you make thorium cells, which we're going to need some of. Yep, see thorium cells, uh, which we're going to, as I said, need four of for this, double thorium for this, and then two of those for quad thorium cells. We're only going to make one quad thorium cell, so as I said, my setup here is not going to be great, it's actually not going to be particularly good at all, but it'll work for now. And I'll make a better one, probably off camera, but I just, yeah, it takes a really long time to make this kind of thing. So here's the nuclear reactor going down, we're going to set them up like this, because my um, simulator says this should work fine. Yeah, so that goes there, that goes there, and there's four heat exchanger that should produce them out of... Yeah, it should basically stop it from being too overheated. Gotta turn it on. And then, yeah, we should be getting out, like, 12 EU per tick. This is how you make an inert stone. As I said, I was going to show something off, even though I was winding down. This is, as I said, an inert... This is a minium stone. This is equivalent exchange 3. I didn't use this heavily because it feels kind of like cheating. You can see that you can cycle through various material types, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then in a minute, I'm going to show off sort of the thing that makes it vaguely cheaty, which is I can make... I can do this to make this to make this, and then this, you can turn that into iron, and then the gold into diamond. And so basically it lets you turn, in particular, ender eyes into diamonds and stuff, which is, gets kind of cheaty a lot. Anyway, that's where I'm going to end the episode. Um, as, you can, as you can tell, I'm pretty much done with this, so I've got pretty much one, left, one last episode left of this, because I'm not going to make a fusion reactor, so it would take forever. But yeah, this is pretty much where I'm going to end off for today. Sorry I didn't get episodes for a while, I got kind of sick. But I'm better now, so you should hopefully get an episode in the next couple days, because these take a little longer than they used to. But as it is, this is the end of the episode. I'll see you guys next time, and yeah, see ya!